I didn't actually have canned whipped cream, so I hope that Cool Whip is a good substitute. And we should be artistic here. Um, what should I draw? I can do this. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Look at this, Grace. You're a master. Oh, maybe not. I'm not even gonna show you that. Thanks for the suggestion, Orange Crush Girl. Thanks. I want you all to know that I've never actually done this before. So, um, look at this. Good lord! Three, two, one. Oh my god. <gasps> Did I get enough on my face? <laughs> you know, would have been smart tying my hair back, but that would have been the intelligent thing to do. I'm gonna go get him here. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> That's disgusting. Maybe I went a little heavy with the chocolate sauce. Massage it over my face. Oh, oh, this was not a good idea. <gasps> there we are! Yay! So now that you can all take me seriously, uh, let's review a book! So I was running around downtown Olympia recently causing all sorts of shenanigans when I came across a local bookstore. I went in just to take a gander and found this. America on Purpose by Craig Ferguson. America on Purpose is Craig Ferguson's autobiography. He wrote it a couple years ago, I think 2009? Yes, 2009. And it basically just details his life from, you know, kid growing up in Scotland, to coming to America, becoming a late night TV host, and it's just really, really good. This book, I believe, is the second biography or autobiography or pretty much anything nonfiction that I've read without it being mandatory, ever. I'm really big into fiction because I like stories and characters and that kind of thing, but I love Craig Ferguson and I think he's hilarious and interesting and has had a really interesting life and so I thought, you know, what the hell. But anyway, so I picked this up and I read it in about three days. And it's amazing. Craig Ferguson's book is honest and interesting and silly and funny and sad and heartbreaking and amazing all at once. The reason I really like this book is because he told a story. He told the story of an alcoholic kid with dreams that were way beyond anything he could actually achieve. He told a story that was dark and sad and dangerous, but it was a story of hope. It was a story of dreams and achieving them and what a wonderful place America is. I really enjoyed the book because it made me feel proud and happy and excited to be a part of the place where I am. It made me feel good about being American, which is kinda rare to come by these days. I don't often suggest non-fiction books to people, mostly because I'm not a big fan myself, but this one was really good. Basically, this is a good book! Go read it! Ah, read it! Who the fuck is calling me? Hello? Hey, Kimmy. I'm doing alright, how are you? Oh, the new Doctor Who? She says hi. She says hi. Keep calm and carry on 22! Oh! Seamless! It's like product placement. Why doesn't, like, Crisco pay me to product place? Hershey's. Okay, I'll call you in the morning, alright? Bye. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, see you next time. Oh, oh look, it's covering an eye. It's covering an eye. I'm just gonna keep filming, you know? I'm not gonna stop. So it's been something of a... Well, you can see now.